Good evening from the National Weather Service in Springfield. It's 6.30 p.m. on Wednesday, March 22nd. Uh, just coming to you here, wanted to give you a briefing on the potential for some strong to severe weather, as well as flooding potential as we get into Thursday and Friday. Uh, first, wanted to talk about the severe weather here. So we're looking at a round of storms moving in by late afternoon from the southwest and moving across the Missouri Ozarks region. Um, there will be multiple rounds of storms with this. Uh, so looking at a window of mainly late afternoon into early Friday morning. So not all storms will be severe or strong, but there are the potential for some of these to become strong and severe. Uh, right now, the main hazards look like large hail and damaging wind gusts, as well as flash flooding uh, with the repeated rounds of storms moving through. And again, these chances are gonna be the highest as you get into the afternoon into early Friday morning hours. Severe chances may also increase with later outlook, so keep uh, in tune with the forecast as we go forward. Other thing I wanted to talk about here is flood watch that has been issued for Thursday evening into Friday evening. So it's in effect from 5 p.m. Thursday to 1 a.m. Saturday. Uh, that's because we're seeing multiple rounds of showers and thunderstorms, looking at the potential for heavy rainfall with most areas looking at uh, two to four inches in the flood watch portions of the area. So again, looking at uh, Baxter Springs, Kansas to uh, Stockton to Hermitage up into the Osage Beach line for that locations and anywhere south of there is where the flood wash is in effect. And again, looking at two to four inches with some localized higher amounts up to five inches possible, uh, especially as you get south of inter Interstate 44. Now, with regards to the flooding, the main concern is going to be for flooding in low lying areas, uh, especially flood prone, prone areas such as low water crossings or haulers as well. Uh, we're going to be seeing rapid rises along area waterways during this time too. Uh, so those quick rises could cause uh, some low water crossings to be flooded. As far as rainfall amounts with this, we're looking at total amounts. Um, there's going to be one round that comes through from Thursday afternoon through Friday morning. There might be a brief break in rain uh, during parts of the morning on Friday, and then we'll see another round of storms move through uh, for the rest of the day, Friday into Friday night. Again, looking at that two to four inches of widespread rain likely, and then some pockets of five inches possible, mainly along the Ozark Plateau and the uh, Interstate 44 corridor. Again, uh, these amounts will be dropping off pretty quickly as you get up into portions of central Missouri and west central Missouri. So uh, again, getting up to the Highway 54 corridor, looking at rainfall amounts dropping off to an inch or less as you get north of as far as timing of the heavy rainfall, right now it looks like the best heavy rainfall potential is going to be Thursday night into early Friday morning. Um, we do see that additional round of storms move through on Friday into Friday night, but again, the heaviest amounts are going to be coming during Thursday night time frame. And again, you'll look at that the as storms exit from west to east. Um, as we get into Friday, you'll notice that areas Nevada, Pittsburgh, and Joplin. Uh, looking at that timeline for the rain becoming less heavy uh, as you get into the day out, the midday hours into the evening on Friday. Uh, but as you get into portions of cent south central Missouri, such as Eminence, West Plains, and Alton, uh, that heavy rainfall potential lingers uh, into Friday evening, even parts of Friday night as well. Another concern with this uh, rainfall is going to be for anybody that's going on doing outdoor activities or going to local state parks. Uh, just keep in mind that although this rain is going to be causing river le levels to rise uh, during the rainfall on Thursday and Friday, uh, these river levels are going to remain elevated as we get into the weekend. So if you're planning any, any activities going into this weekend, bear in mind that there might still be some flooded low water crossings and elevated stream flows as a, as a result of the heavy rainfall. So again, because of the heavy rain, uh, just keep in mind that you shouldn't drive through standing water. Uh, any water on a roadway up to a, as little as a foot of moving water can actually sweep a car off a road. Uh, if you're walking through flowing water, it only takes six inches to sweep you off your feet. Uh, and if you do come to a low water crossing that is closed off, please do not drive around the barricades. Uh, remember, turn around, don't drown if you see a flooded roadway. And additionally, with these thunderstorm potential uh, throughout this time frame, just be aware of the forecast as there will be slight changes to where the timing as well as the location of the heaviest rainfall and severe potential is going to be. 
Um, just know that you have multiple ways to receive a warning if one is issued during this time frame. Uh, know where your nearest shelter is located. Have a plan in place to be prepared in case we do see active weather um, occur at your location. And then finally, when action needs to be taken, make sure you don't wait. Act on the plan that you've made and be prepared when weather strikes. That's all I've got for now. Have a good day and stay safe out there.